you know what content marketing is? It is yet another buzz phrase we've come to hear about more often. Let's make one thing clear. Content marketing is not a new idea. In fact, examples of this concept can be traced back through history. Many businesses are, and have likely been, doing some form of content marketing without even realizing it. Hi everyone, I'm Rob Palowitz, President and CEO of Palo Creative, and today I'm going to share with you three key things to remember as you build out your content marketing strategy. One of the biggest misconceptions out there is that content marketing is just dealing with words on a page, like a blog, white paper, case study, so on and so forth. While these are all certainly forms of content, they are merely just a few tactics and an approach that crosses multiple forms in media. For example, you're watching a form of content right now. Video is one of the most effective ways to getting your message across, and it can be used on a variety of platforms. It is statistically more engaging with prospects and fans. Other tactic examples could be a company podcast, like the Palo Buzz, a weekly spot on the local news or radio show, Instagram stories, and even webinars and training videos are all good forms of content. Going beyond the paper not only allows you to have multiple touch points for consumers, but also caters to different types of individuals in places where they are spending their time. As a business owner, it's natural to want to promote your company's products and services, I get it. But it's most important with content marketing to be genuine and look to connect with your audience in a way they will be most responsive. This means that a salesy blog article that does nothing but try to get the reader to buy now isn't going to be an effective piece of content. However, in some circumstances, that approach may work if it's a really good buy or a special deal. But try to keep it more of an informative message to gain that trust and credibility to really grow that fan base. And remember, keep your target persona in mind. Where are they spending their time? Are they more likely to be reading a technical brochure you got to throw in the mail to them? Or are they doing the research on the web where a blog or video will be the most effective? Now, if you're able to connect those dots, you'll be able to see a higher conversion rate, but you'll also be more effective with your budget as your resources will be focused, so more bang for your buck. First impressions are created in a matter of seconds, so your content should be authentic and tap into consumers' emotions. A recent study found that nearly 86% of consumers said authenticity was very important when choosing a brand to support. The best way to accomplish that is to ensure your content is honest, inclusive, and insightful. Now, once you've created this great content, you need to ensure that your audience sees it. This isn't a build it and they will come fill the dream scenario, especially since you have resources invested in the build out of this content. It's vital that it doesn't sit around and go to waste. There are a variety of ways to get your content in front of your audience. Certainly, there are paid methods and options where you can target demographics matching your personas and serve them your content but there are also more cost-effective methods as well. If you have an email database of your customers, you can send them this content directly. Or on the social media side of things, a post or a story linking to your content is also a great way to get your audience to see it. The idea is to share your content, don't keep it hidden. Another way to build visibility on your content is to optimize it for search engines. So using search engine optimization tactics can help a piece of content appear to a consumer when they are on the web searching for relevant information to their questions or needs. Now, when it comes to planning, you may think you need to build a 12-month calendar. While it's perfectly fine to be excited to create new content, a three-month calendar works best and is the most effective for flexibility. These smaller chunks of time allow for changes in the market and for more frequent analysis and optimization. For example, if an opportunity presents itself one month into your schedule and content about a new topic is needed, it'd be much more effective to pivot from a three-month plan as opposed to reshaping a whole year. Hey, this is your coach, Rob Palowitz. Thanks for watching the Game Plan for Growth show. Stay tuned for our next episode as we share with you the playbook for growing your business.